Gambling's fun until it becomes your life. I never really thought about being broke. I always thought about the positive sides of being rich and what I could do with my winnings. What felt like a couple of pound coins here and there turned into notes. And before I knew it, I was potless. I'd been every bookies up the high road. Labbrooks, Paddy Power, William Hill, anywhere with the right odds. Back at work. At least I can get some money back in my pocket. Business was booming and the money was rolling in for Nick. I took £2.60 from the customer and as I opened the till, it hit me. It's like Christmas had come early. I could take the money for my 11 o'clock tip and treat Becky at the same time. Then I thought seriously for a second. When Nick caught people stealing from the till, he doesn't just run up and slap you on the wrist. Nah, he likes to snap your little fingers and give you a beating that you won't forget. I kept thinking of what happened to poor Alex. And Vicky for that matter. He doesn't care, male, female, you steal from him and you'll get what's coming to you. I looked at the CCTV camera above the bar to check if it was aiming at me. And as it switched to a different part of the pub, I slipped a score in my pocket. And then another. And then another. And I ended up with a century in my back pocket. A hundred notes. That's got to be enough. Maybe another 20 will do. But before I reach in for it, Glenn came round the corner, stood to attention saying, Martin. Shit. I've been clocked. What are you doing? As if you don't already know what I've done. I'm just giving a customer back his change. OK. Back in an hour. What the hell was that? Has she seen me? Is she just checking up on me? Damn, what the hell just happened? I peeked around the corner and watched every move she made. I could tell if she was on the phone to Nick or not, because she starts the conversation with, Hello, darling. Please don't say it. Please, please, please don't say it. Hello, darling. Shit. I needed to dash. I slammed my things on my bed, wrote my letter of resignation, grabbed my phone, Took one last look around my room and headed towards the door. Opened it, and there he was. Go okay, somewhere, Martin. So here I am. Hotless, jobless, homeless, and by this weekend, probably birdless. You know what? Just look. Don't say anything. Just look. And then ask yourself. Was all that worth it? I wish I could just make you turn around Turn around and see me cry There's so much I need to say to you So many reasons why You're the only one who really knew me at all So take a look at me now there's just an empty space And there's nothing left here to remind me Just a man